Oh, hey, bienvenido a todos. Welcome everyone. I am the Seamster. All right, so what am I doing today? I'm going to be showing you guys how to clean your palettes. That's right. If you do any type of screen printing or you want to get into the screen printing business and make a lot more extra money on the side, these are called palettes right here, okay? That is what your fabric or your t-shirt or your sweatshirt or your pants or whatever you plan on screen printing on with a screen, okay, which goes down onto the material and then you use your plastisol, your water-based ink, and then it goes through the screen and then it gets printed on the material here. But before you actually put your shirt or your sweatshirt or anything that on the palette, you have to use some type of tack. Uh, I, we use a super tack, okay? And you spray this stuff on or you put it on, you wipe it on, and it allows the fabric to stick to the palette. And that's very important that it sticks to the palette because when you bring this down and you don't have a tack that holds this t-shirt or whatever you're using to the palette, you go to pull this up. It's gonna pull the fabric up with it and it's gonna screw it all up. And then when you go to turn it to add another color or you made a mistake, you wanna redo it again, it's not gonna be lined up. And that's why you need some type of tack down on your palette board. But the most difficult thing when it comes to palettes is actually cleaning them off. Some people use mineral spirits. You can't use hot water and soap. It's just not gonna work. And some people use any type of other chemicals that are made just to get this off. But guys, it takes way too long. I'm gonna show you guys how to get these palettes clean just like that. So what happens when you go to peel this off? This is what it looks like, okay? It's just a mess. And so I'm gonna peel this off, this sweatshirt. And look at that. Complete mess, this right here. Um, what that is, is the glue is down on the palette. I'm gonna slide this off. It's on the palette, and so now that fabric and everything else is just on there. It's almost like Elmer's glue, okay, when it goes on. It's really thick, and you got to spray also that it works with that, but regardless, you're going to have the same results. So, let's get this thing out of here. Let's take it in the garage. I'm going to show you guys actually how to get this clean within five minutes. That's right. Now, I'm not even going to edit it. I'm just going to let it roll through. But i got to edit this part for me walking in the garage, all right, and getting this set up. So, come on, let's go. All right, everybody, I'm in the garage, got everything set up. But let me explain. I do just about everything when it comes to a food truck or when it comes to sewing with a handheld sewing machine or a regular sewing machine. But also on our side business, we also do screen printing and HTV for a lot of small uh, companies or little businesses that people do or even for somebody that just needs a little something done for their child or for themselves. So when it comes to the screens, all right, we know that there's a lot of chemicals that are used. For those people that do screen printing, we already know there's emulsion cleaner, uh, there's uh, plastisol cleaners, or even water-based cleaners. There's all types of cleaners that we're using that we need to use gloves. When it comes to this, uh, what I'm gonna show you guys, what I use is this paint thinner, enamel reducer, okay? Paint thinner, basically. This is what I'm going to use to clean off the surfaces of these pallets right here. You can get these in a smaller can for probably around $9 at an automotive parts store. Okay, so that is what I'm going to use. You are also going to need a scrub brush from a dollar store. It's got a little handle on it. Get the one with the handle. Also, I'm going to use a metal scraper, paint scraper, okay? It don't have to be this size, but this is what I'm using right here. This is probably a good uh, uh, five inch scraper right there. So, what I did is I poured a little bit of the enamel uh, reducer inside of a, look at it, whipped topping, whipped cream bowl. That's right. It doesn't even take much, guys. There's only a little bit that's inside of there. So you're going to need something to wipe up everything afterwards. So what I have is uh, two stinky old socks right here that have holes. No, they're not old. They are old, but they're not stinky. I wash them, okay? Just so you know. I want to know that. So I'm going to put these right here off to the side. So now... You can't wear gloves with these because this reducer breaks down that rubber uh, really, really quick. So I'm going to tell you guys that when you're using this stuff, you, you are going to get it on your hands. When you're done with this, go inside, wash your hands with some hot soap and water uh, and, and some dish soap and get your hands clean and then put some lotion on because this stuff will dry your hands out really quick. And remember, when you're dealing with a lot of chemicals, there's a lot of smells that come with this. But you people that do screen printing, you already know this. So, here it is right here. I'm going to take this and I'm going to dip it inside of the bowl. Now, I'm going to work in fours here. See, I'm going to do this right here on this 
quarter of the board. Now I'm going to dip it in again. Now I'm going to work on this quarter of the board. Okay? So far, half done. Dip it in there again. Now I'm going to work on this quarter. As you guys can see, already I'm just kind of just working my way in quarters. And I'm just letting that soak in up on the top there. So it'll just kind of just chew its way through that glue. Alright, so so far, you see what's going on. You guys already got the idea of what's going to be happening here. Okay, so I got that. So now, I'm going to take the metal scraper, okay? I'm going to set this aside so I don't spill it. And I'm going to simply just scrape off as much as I can, like a little bulldozer. Without scratching the board, okay? That, I'm just saying, be careful, you don't want to scratch that up, but you may. Now, I got a lot of gunk that's on there. I'm bringing that closer so you can see that. Look at all that stuff that's on there. Yeah, not good. So I'm going to take my old sock, and all I'm going to do is just clean off that edge straight across, just like that. Now, since I got off most of it, uh, there's some gunk that's on there too. So let's go ahead and get that most of that off and just kind of just rub that and just, look at that, just peel that right up out of there, okay? Without touching it with your fingers if you don't can't. Just like that. Okay, so now... I'm going to dip this back in here. There's not a lot in there. And I'm just going to do half the board like that. Dip it in there again. And I'm going to do the other half. And I didn't really didn't get a lot in there. You don't want so much on there, guys, that it just starts running off the board. You don't want to do that, okay? Just get it on there like that, like so. And then take this. like so. And go ahead and wipe that off. So now that that's wiped off really good, all you're going to do now is just take your old sock like you did once before and you're going to just dip that inside of the paint thinner, just like that. Not a lot, you don't need a lot, okay? So go ahead and dip that in there and I'm going to just simply just wipe this board up. And you're going to feel the glue on it. And when you do feel that, uh, you want to turn it over. Okay, turn that rag, that old rag over, or stinky sock like I'm using. Because that glue is on there and it's building up. Okay? And just wipe that around the edges, just like this. And if you still feel some on there, you can go ahead and get some more on there. Don't get out of control with this paint thinner, okay? Because it can chew up everything. It can even chew up the top on here if you go crazy on and just start wetting this whole board down entirely. This stuff dries up quick too. Okay, and just like that, look at that. The board's clean, okay? Um, it's clean. There's no, I don't feel any glue. I don't feel anything on there. It is clean. This board is done. So. I hope you guys got something out of this. Quick lesson. What'd that take me? I don't know. Maybe five minutes. I didn't even edit this. But that's how you do it. How to clean your palette with automotive paint thinner reducer. Just like that. All right, guys. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go inside now. I'm going to get cleaned up because I'm going to make a handheld sewing video and also a regular uh, sewing machine video on how to make memory pillows. That's right, guys. This is very important. Listen to me. If you guys know somebody that died uh, that was very special to somebody else, these people actually care a lot about these people and they save maybe a t-shirt or they save the button-up shirt or a jacket, it's good to make a memory pillow or have a memory pillow made for them. I'm going to show you guys how easy this is to make memory pillows for someone that has died and these people want to remember these people and when they're alone and when they feel sad and they remember these people that have died that they truly loved and cared for, they can simply grab that memory pillow and remember them. All right, everybody. Hope you got someone out of this. Remember, the only excuse you make is the one you actually say. Peace out. <laughs>